So thank you all for coming. We're also going to be doing a live stream. So if you're watching this live on my Facebook page, uh, you'll see the words live in red at the top. And if you are watching the replay, make sure you write hashtag replay and then let me know you're here. And uh, thanks everyone else for coming. Oh, <laughs> I forgot. I also have photography as well, so I forgot that I took it up. So she started taking pictures. So today we're going to be doing the uh, Mexican cooking class. It's going to be chicken fajitas. I realized I just forgot the chicken in the fridge. That's okay. I'll grab that. So and we're also going to be getting you guys to help as well. And there's cheese. Oh yeah. Good job, Andrew. Look at this. Man, you got cheese up. It's good. Okay. <laughs> like I forgot that. Okay. He's probably thinking of himself of like eating it. Okay. So we're just going to put that there. And we'll put the cheese over there. Okay. What was I saying? I don't know. See, this is this is what happens if I live with the hands. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna start. Um, Epicure is actually. I'm mean, gonna. Would you be able to introduce Epicure? Sure. sure. Are we doing? I can okay. do that. Yeah. Okay. Do you want me to come live? <laughs> yeah. Because then once I wrote live with Amelia. Okay. <laughs> Hi everyone. Uh, yeah. yeah this, I'm so super excited to be here with Anne. Uh, and so Epicure is a Canadian company, and uh, what we do is really help busy families know what's for dinner and cook it really fast. And so um, what we do essentially is good food real fast, which is helping people take meals from raw to ready in 20 minutes or less uh, through our wholesome blends, time-saving cookware, and amazing. Oh, that's good. Okay, we have that great so I will remember. That's super exciting to be here. So thank, thank you for having me. It's awesome. Oh, thank you. So if you guys are watching this, if, if Amelia will sure. is here. Uh, special, yeah. <laughs> uh, just with special cooking class, I cannot promise Amelia will come to your house for every <laughs> <laughs> consultant in every class. But today uh, we have Amelia here from BC, so it's awesome. So we're going to start. I'm going to get you guys to help out. So who wants to be a uh, helper? <laughs> Oh. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> okay, maybe we'll make us do something else then. Okay, so we're going to start with the pudding. And come on over this way. So we're going to make chocolate pudding, and the group has agreed we're going to do, um, you can, okay, so with chocolate pudding, you can use lots of different things. You can use, obviously, milk, regular, oh, sorry, it's my mom watching. What are they doing up there? Okay, Andrew's up there. <laughs> you can use regular milk, or almond milk, or soy milk, or this one, we have oat milk, gluten-free oat milk. So the great thing about the chocolate pudding, <laughs> I know it's, it's the mom mistake. The great thing about the chocolate pudding is that this one, when you go to the store and then the other random brands, I won't say their names, I almost forget them. <laughs> they have lots of additives and weird things in the pudding. Not weird, but like. <laughs> so this one, it just has like organic coconut palm sugar, tapioca, and uh, cocoa powder, like it's really easy to make. So this one comes, this one's available in the US and Canada. I have people uh, watching from both. So we're gonna open it up and just follow the instructions. This one like takes like 10 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, here you go. I can vouch it's very good. <laughs> so we're going to follow the instructions here and which is super easy. And this one is great because my kids like to make it too. And then they can like, no one can screw this one up. Like it's so easy to make. This is one of the favorite things to make. So we're gonna, okay, so we're gonna use two cups. So we're gonna use this, and this is one of our prep bowls. Is the cup measurement? So it's just right to the top. Yeah. And this comes in a set of four. Thank you. Good, good call. <laughs> I'm shaking it. Um, so we can just measure out the oat milk. And this one takes like 10 minutes in the fridge to make. Like it's a set. So it's super easy. Um, and I love those bowls because I like to, uh, not that I can do portion control, because I don't know about you guys, like, I just won't stop eating. Like, if there's junk food in the house, I'm just like, yeah, like, I'm eating them all. <laughs> all the things. <laughs> like, I'm going to portion out pudding or like, whatever we're making. Yeah. And then we can just whisk it and then we'll shove it in the fridge. And this is also the uh, Epicure piano whisk. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really excited. <laughs> Okay, Stephanie also says no. <laughs> I don't know if it does. 
I've never actually done it. I usually just shove it in. Is there room in there? Okay, fit. We just I'm lazy and I get to it too fast. <laughs> like you're drinking the, or like eating it, basically? Yeah. In like 10 minutes? Yeah. Oh, okay. we also have little kids there, too. They're probably like, yeah. Oh, it's pretty great. Put a tea. Okay, so next we have, we're going to make chicken fajitas. Um, so this is the Epicure Multipurpose Steamer. So we'll take this out. So the Multipurpose Steamer, there's a few different steamers, and this one comes in your Epicure kit if you're an Epicure consultant. And the great thing about this is you can just use it in the microwave. And at first I was like, what, what is this? Like, I don't want to use the microwave. <laughs> but then once I made a meal and I was like, oh, this is actually like really fast and delicious. You can make so many different things in it, like popcorn. And um, like one day, once I was sick and I was like, oh, I don't know what to do with the kids. I was like, I just threw popcorn in and I was like, oh, that was good. <laughs> well, they just sat quietly watched the movie and ate popcorn while I just lied on the couch. <laughs> So, uh, for this one, you can make chicken fajitas, you can make, like, I know someone, one of my new consultants just made lasagna, and she thought it was the most amazing thing ever. Like, this thing is just, like, a magical, magical tool from Epicure. That's not what it's Multi-purpose tool. Um, and it comes in a few sizes, so this is the larger one. So, today, we're going to do uh, chicken and, uh, what is that? Chicken and peppers. Perfect. Okay, so I pre-cut this, because we're trying to make this meal today in less than 20 minutes because we're because when you're coming home from after work and you have screaming children like i do because i scream a lot you guys <laughs> you want to make food really quickly so uh i also need another volunteer astrid you want to do one sure. okay yay so we're gonna okay this one's pretty easy you just have to shove it in the chicken and the peppers shove it in. So, <laughs> shove it in. <laughs> and then we're going to use the fajita mix to just put it in here yep i put i think that's like one pound, two pounds of chicken? Oh, I forgot to measure it up. Don't tell Andrew. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> I was like, that's okay. So this is the fajita mix. And Epicure is great because it's all gluten-free, nut-free. It's super easy to use. That's so funny. I didn't think it would come out in the cup like that. That's okay. We'll shake it up. <laughs> so I'm going to get you to measure out. Oh. I didn't like washing my hands. Good question. Oh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> okay, I'll give you a second to wash your hands. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, whoever's next is the wash your hand down for the uh, avocado and salsa. Okay, so the fajita mix, you can tell this one is just like a dry, like a dry spice. So Epic has a lot of different spices. Yeah, so no MSG and every, all the ingredients are here. Things you can, sorry, then. They're all things you can pronounce. Like Benjamin is five and uh, my son Benjamin is five and he's learning to read. He still actually can't really read it, but... I tell him, like, if it's a really long word on the grocery store and you're there like, in the middle of the aisle, and if you can't read it, then, like, you don't want to, you don't want to eat it. So, um, so, so he's looking at this. He likes looking at ingredients now. You can see that, like, it's just spices, chili powder, garlic. Okay, so we're going to get you to measure out the, wait, can you measure out the chicken? That's one pound for you, fried chicken, beef, onion, peppers. So this is the four in one spice spoon. So this is one tablespoon. Yeah, that's one tablespoon. And this is designed obviously to fit into the epicure spices. And you know if you put a little bit more or less, like it's okay. It just yeah. And then you can shake it up. Okay. So to not use dishes, we can put the lid on. Do you feel comfortable shaking it? Oh, I can try. <laughs> Okay, and then like shake it up to get the like spicy around. Oh, okay. It's okay. Gosh, it's a lot of spice. I know. Okay. Okay, let's check on it. What do you think? Okay. Good. I mean, like the chicken? Oh, okay. It's a little bit soft. Okay. Come on, chicken. There you go. Well, no, we have a little bit more. Okay. All right. <laughs> the kids keep playing with my fridge settings. Like, you know, the little button on there? Yeah, you guys have it too. We're like, Ellen and Benjamin are now like, what happens if I do this? So then sometimes I'm like, why is everything frozen? Yeah. Or yeah. oh, why is everything melting? Oh, fridge is open. Pretty good. I think it's pretty good, yeah. Yeah, yeah it looks good. Okay, so now it's ready to go. So we'll show you guys. Ta -da. Yay! Okay, so now we can put it in the uh, not fridge. Wrong one. Microwave here. So let me just shove this in. Okay. And I think it's seven. Five to seven. Okay, five to seven. Amelia says five to seven. Thanks, Amelia. Okay, let's try. Um, whoops. 
I don't know how to work my microwave. That's okay. It's on seven. You have kids, we get it, it's okay. Uh, we can work with them over here. So while this cooks, we can start doing guac and salsa. So we'll just get the kids in a second to come in. <laughs> no, you can't just your ass to go for a You had a hard job shaking it, not making sure the chicken doesn't explode and fly anywhere. So the leather Okay. 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 So now we so we just missed the chocolate pudding is in the uh, fridge setting, and then the chicken and fajitas, chicken fajitas are cooking in the microwave. And now we're gonna go on to uh, salsa and yeah, yeah, salsa and guac. So who wants to who's left to cook? Thanks, hey, Sherry. Yay! <laughs> So next we're gonna do, uh, we do a talk, I don't know what you guys, but we do talk, my kids are obsessed with talk of Tuesday. I think, I don't know where they learned it from. Yeah. yeah, and now like, Benjamin knows the day of the week, so it's like, it's Tuesday, we got the talk of Tuesday. Okay. <laughs> like, even the people at the Y, now other moms are like, are you making tacos? Like, yeah. What do you know? It's like, just my kids are running around telling me what talk of Tuesday. <laughs> so, anyway, so now we have to have tacos every Tuesday. And uh, to change it up, we do a lot of different things now to change up, so I'm not eating exact same things, like fish tacos and things like that. So um, I forgot to mention that everything we're going to be doing is from the Mexican Good Food Real Fast. So I have the Italian kit there too. So it looks like this. And the meal kit box is, I know um, there's other food delivery boxes that come to your door and then they have like the fresh ingredients and those kind of things. And it like shows up at your doorstep. So those are fun, but they also cost like a crazy amount. Like Andrew and I ordered one the other day and it worked up to like $80 for two meals. So that's like $10 a portion. portion. And Ella ate like one bite and then that was it. And then I was like, should I eat her leftovers? So I was like, just got them 10 bucks. <laughs> what do I do? So then Andrew like ate in. Anyway, it's good, but like it also, it costs a lot and it also comes with a lot of packaging. It actually made me think of Quincy and I was like, oh, like everything comes yeah, individually like wrapped in like so, so it's great, like it's already cut up, but it's a, it's a huge pain and bad for the environment. And then it comes in like a big styrofoam thing. Anyway, it's a, it's a, yeah. So this is Epicure's solution to it. So this is the this is the Mexican kit. So there's Mexican, and then there's Italian, and Greek, and Asian. And then in Canada, there is the Thai and Indian. And then in the US, there's burgers. Hopefully burgers from Thai. Okay, maybe. Okay. <laughs> Mealy can't say for sure, but let's go. <laughs> Off the record, maybe it might be coming back. So the great thing is it comes like this. So it gives you a grocery list card of all the different um, groceries, you, things you need. And then you have the little meal kit too. So we're doing the, uh, so the four things we're doing are from here. Okay. I forgot to put the numbers. Okay. So now we're going to do, we're going to do tomatoes or? Okay. Okay, let's do, yeah, let's do salsa. Okay. So I have more tomatoes if you guys want lots. Okay. Yeah, so we're gonna yeah, so we're gonna use this. And this is the po poco piante. Piante? Yeah, let's go let's go with that. Okay. So it's super easy to make salsa. Uh, yeah, you can pretty much chop it wherever you want. Um, Andrew hates when I do like huge chunks of tomatoes. He's like, why is it so big? And he's like, that's like what I want to do. So I pick your own salsa, dude. Yeah. Make your own salsa. So uh, my issue with salsa from the store, besides having all the random things in it, is that like it, it sits in your fridge for so long, and then again with like taking kids like Ella, like she's three, someday she's like I'm gonna eat all the salsa, and someday she's like I hate this, it's the worst in life. I'm like it's the same thing. <laughs> You're three. <'cause, laughs> so this you can it's great because you can control how much salsa. How about this burger cut it? two tablespoons of it and diced tomatoes and a splash of lime juice. So Sherry's using our ceramic knife. Um, 
Like they still sang a very good so I just have to hide that. So, because <laughs> things like this they also love. So we can also squeeze some lime in it. And this is our two in one citrus press. Press. So it has like a lemon and it has a lime part, which is awesome. Again, like squeezing the excess. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yay. I, I'm really bad at like judging how much things I need. Like I always make too much or too little of something. So I make Andrew buy like six or eight of these and he's like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just just buy a lot, dude. Got me some more. Okay. Yeah. You guys think you want more of this? Yeah? No? You want more? Sure. Just yeah. Yeah. One okay. More. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I was gonna have another friend that I think maybe you she was in a class. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> But I was like, I think you guys knew each other from the uh, fundraising world too. Yeah. Okay, and then we also have uh, avocados and we're going to make as well. So yeah, she's using the ceramic knife and this is also Epicure um, cutting boards. And these ones are the flexible ones, so you can kind of like pick it up if you want to kind of dump it all in. This one. And this is the, um, we're going to use this for guac next, so I might need another volunteer for you. Do you want to make guac? Sure. Yay, okay. okay. This is the meat uh, separator, but I've been using it to mash things instead of the, um, like the regular potato masher. Potato masher, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Thanks. Yeah, Andrew keeps like running away. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Even when we had like a cake or something, she was like, "Did you do something in the house?" Yeah. <laughs> You um, do the what are we next? Oh, this no, this one. Okay, so you do this one. Oh yeah, sorry. Need that line for. Sherry, squeeze a lime into the, um, oh, wow. spice food. Yeah, so Sherry's also going to demonstrate that this one too, with the salt. This is a fine cooking demo. I didn't do anything. Okay. <laughs> These are awesome. Thank you. Yeah, I love this one because the little seeds don't come out. Or like, I do this all the time when I'm in a rush, and then a seed yeah. comes out, and I'm like, oh, crap, I got to pick this way. Yeah. Like, or yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. With the kids, especially. Where they're squeezing lime and lemon. Do your yeah. kids eat lemon and lime? Yeah. Mine do. My daughter yeah. does. Yeah. Got my do the whole thing right now? Uh, it depends on you guys. It might be enough. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't you put some in the guac? Yes. Yeah. Whoa. Well, okay, Danielle. <laughs> okay. And then how much? Okay. Let's see what it says on the side. Or one thing? Okay. Yeah, so this is the four in one spice spoon again, so we're gonna need Oh, because it fits into the Yes, yeah. Yeah, so it's good because it has all the different measurements, so you don't have to make as many. Yeah. Okay, so Quinton is gonna make the guac. So same thing with the guac. Um Guac is one of those things I love, but it's really time consuming to make. Like when you eat cheese, I don't even know what goes in regular guac. Onions or I don't know. Onions, bunch of stuff. Garlic. <laughs> it's not just it's not just an avocado. So, yeah, it usually takes forever, but this one is so quick. So mm -hmm. um, this one it literally just says like mash two ripe avocados, combine with three tablespoons of dip mix, and then splash of lime juice, and then that's it. That's not used to like just putting it away. No, <laughs> it's okay. used to mash. Yeah. Oh, wait, you're gonna use both? Yeah. As soon as you put it on, I was like, I forgot something. <laughs> okay. So, if you guys, this is random, but Sherry used to be an event planner. You might be an event planner. She has amazing attention to detail, so every time we're out somewhere, I'm like, Sherry, you know, you're like, we need this. We need this. How much time do you need to Yeah. Yeah, you want me to do that? And I, it's the same thing. 
something I bought like way too many avocados because I didn't. Because you never know if like you guys have this with avocados or like you gotta have them. Yes, and then you even be right with the perfect time, and then if you get up here too late, you're like, oh crap, it's brown. Like, so can I you miss have, like, it by like an hour? Like, <laughs> 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 okay, kids are ready. Like, oh, now the brown star is gone. So we got like a bag of chips yesterday, and I realized we ran out of um, avocados. So. Oh no. Yeah, so for this one I made Andrew like buy tons because I was like, I don't know what you're going to be with. Have you ever done the fever bag trick? So you put an unripe avocado in a fever bag and put it on top of your fridge. And the heat will, like, right. it'll ripen. Oh, my worry is I'm going to forget it's there and then find well, it. Well, as long as you don't forget <laughs> <Right>? yeah. it, <laughs> so like, you like, set oh. yourself a reminder. Yeah. yeah. But we go through avocados so much that we buy them, like, not like from Costco mm -hmm. yeah. and do that. And then one at a time. Just fill it in there. Yes, yeah, so we go through a lot of avocados. Oh. And because you picked up the gold. Yeah. Pick it up, you. That's good. Yeah, I fall for it. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. I think I'll be okay. Yeah. I'm not hungry, you guys are. Whoop! Yeah. I'm stuck with this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone ask a question later? No, you're good. Okay. We were just watching. Mm -hmm. Anyone else? Okay? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, if it's a no. I do lines all the time, no one's there. I'm just like, someone watch these, but. Good point. Oh, wait, no, this is happening. I kind of want to see if it works. I don't know. I'm sorry, I'm good. I should say something, but like, look at that. Squeeze out the top instead. Nice. Yeah. Oh, I was like, I forgot something. I realized it's a chicken. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to grab the uh, stuff under the microwave. And we'll check on it. And I put it in for the max. Because I couldn't operate my own microwave. Okay. You ready? What do you guys think? Yeah? Amelia? This one so much, yeah. Buy it. Obsessed. <laughs> he was like, Oh, it's my tongue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I was like, I give my pair and then she just bought it. No, I bought it. <laughs> I thought I was just going to buy it. I've never seen someone so passionate about a tongue. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he loves cookware. It's <laughs> just so cute. Yeah. Okay, so we'll leave that so it's ready to go. I'm just going. Yeah. No, it's perfect. <laughs> yes, we have my microphone. No such thing. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, you're good. Extra familiar. Yeah, I don't think it won't be pricey. But we can always see it on the other side. That meal was super quick. That was, I don't know what time it was, 1 40. Yeah. So it wasn't that bad. It was like, really, you can make this in like 15 20 minutes. Yeah. Obviously, you just have to like plan in advance and know what you're going to cook. Um, I usually do a lot of prepping in advance because kids are screaming. Right now, they're actually really quiet, but like Ella mm -hmm. likes to scream when I'm cooking. It's like, she's like, oh, okay, I need you now. I'm like, what the? I'm going to cook, kids. So uh, before we taste test this, I also have um, nacho chips for us to try and some tortilla shells. So I think we got these ones are hopefully cherry friendly. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I was looking at all of this. There's so many tortilla shells on the market. I was looking through them all. Okay. I think this one's actually corn. So we're good. So we can we can all sample this. Benjamin actually put up weight for you. He's really cute. He's ready to go. So uh, before you guys sample it, obviously thank you for coming. And thank you so much. I always joke that I have no friends, but then you guys do. So. <laughs> <laughs> All you have to do is ask. Yeah. <laughs> so, thank you. 
I am not making that joke, but so thanks for coming. And there's a few ways to shop today if you guys want to, like, if you want to make this at home. Uh, I have the computer set up so you can buy online. And if you're, um, so you guys here can shop. Uh, if you're watching, you can shop online at Dixon.com, D-I-C-K-S-O-N.com, not the other Irish Dixon. <laughs> just go have gun. So that's Dixon. Um, and if you're in the U.S., make sure you just click the U.S. Uh, you can see the U.S. prices and the Canadian prices. So you can shop online here. Um, another way is you can host your own cooking class. Uh, Danielle actually hosted her, my first epic here. This is actually my only, my second party uh, ever in person. Amelia's here. No big deal. Just watching video of Amelia. <laughs> you're in a cooking class while people are like, Amelia. The angel's like, is that right? I was like, yes, I was watching you. Really good. Yeah. <laughs> Which is really funny. So. Um, and you can host your own party at your house or condo and invite your so friends good. and same thing and then you can earn some free food which is awesome. So I know Danielle earned quite a bit of yeah. quite a bit of stuff for her and her kids which is great including this uh, <laughs> that her kids love so much. And the other option is to become a consultant like me. Uh, you don't have to be like hardcore like me and do full time obviously because you guys have jobs. Uh, you can, a lot of people do it part time just to have extra spending money and you just want to pay bills or Unsexy things like any washing machine that I need, <laughs> things like that. Uh, right now, there's a, a special in February to become a consultant for 99 US or 125, so it's a, a smaller, smaller kit than usual. And then you get actually most of the things here, like the multi-purpose steamer, and then the, like the Mexican kit. So it's a pretty awesome deal. So that's it. And then we can we can eat. So let's uh, let's eat. Yeah. Me too. You can also. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And I'll go grab my kids too because I think they're waiting for this moment. Oh, we gotta grab the pudding too. Okay. Let's check on it. Good set. Yeah. Whoop. Whoop. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> you already eat it? Sherry's a dessert person. Yeah. Is Sherry's a dessert person? She makes a lot of dessert. She bakes. That's true. You do bake a lot. Yeah. Yeah. You always want to like phone her like, hey, Sherry, I saw you. <laughs> <laughs> Pizza dessert. Okay, thanks everyone. Yeah, we'll see you in the video too. Thank you.